Are you waiting for me to go downstairs? <laughs> Are you waiting for me to come and feed you? Hey. <laughs> That's an air purifier that I have in the hall. Because the litter room is right there, so. But they are waiting for me. So I better go. You waited patiently for me to have my shower. Yes, you did. <laughs> well, come on. Don't just stand there. You freaking weirdos. Move. Go, Sam. <laughs> come on, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. How are you? How are you? <laughs> welcome back to another video. Today, I have something different. Uh, although, I guess I have done videos like this on my channel before, but it is different from the material that I've been making lately. So I'm in my room today, as you can see. I thought my room would be an appropriate place to do my um, Lush haul and just talk to you guys for a bit. I'm in my room with Sam here who is freaking out, freaking out over birds. I plan on putting up some lights in here. Probably maybe try to do that today. All right, so um, just a few updates, I guess. One is... I guess I haven't posted in a couple of days. The past couple of days after my last um, video have just been really hard for me. And of course, adjusting to um, not having my crutch food is very, very hard mentally. And so I was just pretty much in my feels and hated the world and didn't feel like talking to anybody, including Definitely coming on camera where I'm probably the most vulnerable and I just didn't feel like having, you know, just didn't feel like dealing with the YouTube world, basically. Mother's Day, we did go get Timbit. So Timbit is here and she's not in the best of shape. She's very old. She's probably about 15, 16, so she's an elderly cat. She's a bit overweight and she's always been like that. We have an, a vet appointment on Saturday. She has a little limp, so she is eating, drinking, she's purring, so she seems to be happy to be back with us, because Timbit used to live with Pete's and I, like, I got him Timbit when we used to live together, back in like 2005 I got her, so we had BBG, BBJ too, cats haven't really been introduced properly yet, we're just keeping her locked up in Pete's room, which she seems fine with, she has her favorite rug, she has food, water, and she loves following Pete's around. She's very close to Pete's. And she I think she did remember me because she started purring very loudly when I came in the room and to see her. And I was petting her and she's very affectionate. Came from a house that was like a smoker house. So her eyes are leaky and I think that has something to do with it. So we will also probably have some uh, eye drops from the vet. So we're going to take her Saturday uh, morning and to get her all fixed up and good to go. So guys, another thing is I have a new intro. I hope that you guys like it. I just felt like a new intro would be appropriate for new life. So yes, I've been struggling, um, to want to just give up and go back to old ways and not keep trying. And the one thing I've been doing is because food is unavoidable. It's everywhere. You know, my favorite YouTubers I watch, eat stuff that I, I really wish I could eat and it's just like seems just so oh it's okay it's just birds it just seems so normal to them to do and for me it's like I have to stay away from that it's evil for me you know some foods are just especially addictive foods and I mean I know which foods and this has just been a really big learning process for me and of course I've been really hard on myself with thinking oh my god like I must look like such a joke to the world or the people who are watching me because of my failures and everything and especially it doesn't help that you know um, some reaction channels do documentaries on my shortcomings but then I was like you know I'm just going to ignore what people say about me from now on and just do me because in the end I'm human and yes I have many shortcomings and this has been, this is, I don't even know, I might even still have some failures along the way. I'm sure it's it's probably guaranteed that that's going to happen. And I just don't see the point in people waiting around, waiting for that to happen to point out and magnify your shortcomings, you know, uh, in a documentary or whatever. It's just like, 
you know, <laughs> I don't think anyone should point the finger at anyone else because we're all human and I think that encouragement is what needed because I can guarantee you that negativity doesn't help. Um, trying to shame someone into changing doesn't help. Uh, definitely doesn't help me. It just makes you feel worse about yourself, which in the end triggers, can trigger, you know, binges because of emotional eating. And when I say things like that, people say, well, you're blaming other people for, you know, well, I'm not blaming other people. I'm just pointing out the facts that that's what's, that's what happens when you feel like shit about yourself or when others try to make you feel about shit about yourself. So I guess the key is don't let others dictate how you feel. That's the lesson, I suppose, because you can't stop people from talking about you. It's always going to happen. So that's just where I'm at with that. And I've just been really trying to ignore it and just do me, try to come up with better content for you guys and really try to better myself. Because yes, definitely, I agree. There are definitely a lot of things I need to do to better myself. Sorry, guys. As you can see, the doors are open a little bit now because... Honestly, you can't have closed doors when you have cats. <laughs> I should have known better. So anyways, moving on to another topic. Um, now my channel content. You take away the food. Um, I really don't know what that's going to mean for my channel. Other than I'm trying to think of other things content-wise I have to offer people. Used to be eating things most people wouldn't dare to eat. <laughs> and and story times and things like that and um, I guess if there's any benefit at all which there aren't really any except for this <laughs> um, to having this problem this food addiction this struggle with the lifelong struggle with obesity is that it's an opportunity to inspire others um, it's an opportunity to change my life and be a stronger person and learn from it. I can't go back and change the past 15 to 20 years. I'm bad at math. Of how, of how much my life has been consumed with this. But I can go on. And I'm 36. And I could still turn it around and make a wonderful life for myself. And that's what I want to do. And that's what I was thinking of, like, things I'm going to do to this place to, to make it nice. And it, do I want to invest in all this new furniture and make this place more homey? Or do I want to save the money and really use it to really do what it's calling my soul to do? You know, I really want to travel. Like I said, I really want to travel around and experience life from different angles, from different cultures, and have many different romances and have many different encounters with people. And I think that loving myself and taking this at least good year to love myself, and I think that will make me love people more too. And so right now, I just want to fall in love with myself. And I can start feeling that every day that I beat this and every day that I make it through a night sometimes just like white knuckling and just I don't know it just barely but I do and every day I feel better about it so last today I don't feel very good I feel very queasy I don't know if it's like a flu bug it's um it's a gastro problem it's not really like a you know a cough or anything it's just my tummy is upset and I made a meatloaf last night. I don't know if it was something with that. I I don't know. I used a fattier... I don't know. The, the cheeseburgers I made the other night didn't really... Well, they didn't really agree with me either. I'm just so used to like being in a constant state of like having issues with my gastrointestinal. It's just almost become commonplace, which is really sad. So I'm kind of just giving my body a break today. I've just been hydrating, hydrating, um, coconut water, water, watermelon, stuff that I can stomach. I'm not going to force myself to eat if I don't feel well. I think that's a sign that my body's like, you need a break from this stuff. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and um, slowly I'm starting to feel a bit better. But uh, last night was up going to the washroom a lot, TMI, but you know, and then today, uh, but slowly I'm starting to feel alright, so I don't know what content I'm going to bring for you guys. Probably um, 
maybe some vlog style. I do want, I guess, to maybe just film this journey, but I know that that means that by saying this, people are going to join me and, you know, really invest their time and emotion into this and do it along with me, some people, and I realize that that's not just something to throw away. So if I do, do end up doing that, maybe starting tomorrow, I am going to take this very seriously and just keep in mind all the people and myself that I'll be letting down by quitting and also just this trip. Like I just keep thinking of the trip and I think it's because like I, you know, paid the deposit. It's all set in place. Someone's organizing it for us and it's, you know, it's going to happen. If it doesn't happen because of COVID in February, it will eventually happen because we, no matter what, we'll have that money for the, the trip already paid. So as soon as things open up, we'll be on our way. <laughs> so, you know, I was just a bit like looking at like inspirational Instagram weight loss transformations and how good these people, like I can just imagine how good they must feel. That's what I want to do. I want to feel good because I just don't, obviously, at my weight. I don't know what my weight is. The last time I was weighed, I was up in weight um, at the doctor's couple months ago I was like almost 400 pounds I was like 390 and that's a new high so might have been more but I definitely have to get my scale from the old apartment and keep track of that and I mean I know the how bad it is to be obese but sometimes you just don't like I just don't care like I would just the will to eat was stronger than the will to live. And then I would, you know, just snap out of it and think, no, you want to live. And, you know, if you don't know that you want to live now, just give yourself a chance to heal and you will want to live. So, um, I'm not going to lie. It's not enough sometimes. All of these reasons to want to be healthy are not enough sometimes. I just don't care in the moment, you know, so I'm thinking more in the future than in the moment and just thinking this is why I need to do this. So we're going to try this again and um, yeah, that's all I can say about that. All right, so now I'm going to do a Lush haul because part of self-care, I have a bigger tub than at my old place. It's not a soaker tub but it's still bigger than my other one. <laughs> so I want to take baths to relax and just, you know, treat my skin. And so I, I got some Lush bath bombs. I did get a nice, luxurious bath pillow. And now I'm going to show you the bath bombs I got. These smell up my entire room. It smells like them. That's how strong they are. Is Sex Bomb. This one is good if you're like, I know Kim Kardashian uses this, so like if you're like, oh, going to be having a romantic evening with someone or just yourself, <laughs> this is very evocative. It's, uh, I don't even know what's in these, but it smells amazing. And this turns into like a little uh, flower in your bath. And yeah makes the bath water a nice color and it smells oh you will smell like this for a while after and it has like um skin softening properties so this is sex bomb all right this one is butterball butterball is very uh it's got cocoa butter and other butters to soften your skin it's a very light vanilla smell but it actually is really, really softens your skin, moisturizes. Black Rose, I've never tried this, this is a new one. It's so pretty. Mm. It smells like one of their other products, but I just can't remember which one right now. Yum. It smells nice. Pretty, pretty, huh? Has a like glitter. So it makes your bath water like a black glitter. You probably would. I'll probably need to wash my bathtub after those ones. Oh, they didn't. 
This is Twilight. This is one of their um, classic sleepy time. Makes you sleepy. Has a lavender and tonka. Mm, I love that smell. One of my favorite smells. This here is the comforter. Also a classic. It's a bubble bar. You just break off little pieces, mix it with the water, and it makes a whole bunch of bubbles. Hmm. Sleepy bubble bar. Isn't this cute? Hmm. It's a bubble bar just like the comforter, but it smells like the twilight. We have Avo Bath. It smells like avocado. Mm, it's supposed to be very nourishing, moisturizing for your skin. It smells very citrusy and bright. I love the smell of this. Another classic Avo Bath. So now my whole room smells like a lush shop. So I will get better lighting. Obviously, I thought that this window would help, but it's I guess it's because of the sun position right now. But um, I did make my bed, especially for the video. But I just wanted to check in with you guys. I know it's been a couple of days. I'm just adjusting to some more changes. <laughs> just trying, just starting to get over, you know, the breakup and move. And um, just adjusting to that, and now there's this, you know, it just feels weird, that's all. But I am excited in the end to discover a healthy me. I've never experienced that, and I owe it to myself. And I hope you'll join me, and please leave me comments on content you would like to see from me, and I will do my best to try to accommodate you guys. And... Thank you so much. I haven't really been replying to emails or comments much because I just have so many and it's just been overwhelming a little bit, although I do really appreciate it. I do love seeing encouraging support, offer to help, like it's just amazing. It really does just make you realize there are a lot of good people out there and you guys are the reason I keep going. So thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.